So here we have deck. So if you recall, the first thing we discussed was that when you uh, lift your head up and turn to breathe like that, it uh, forces your lower body to sink a bit and that makes it harder to swim because it creates more drag if your legs and hips are lower in the water. So uh, first thing or one of the things you're going to want to work on is uh, becoming comfortable exhaling with your face in the water. So the reason you're turning so much is because you're trying to exhale and then inhale. And that's also going to uh, make you more tired as you swim. All right, and then uh, so we discussed that, and you're doing a better job here of keeping your your head down. Now your your forward reach is really pretty good, and that's one of the main things with uh, swimming. Is a good extension, and you can see I just uh, I just focused on your legs for a second. The one of the other things we discussed was uh, kicking. Right now your, your legs are just uh, sort of hanging there, maybe counterbalancing your stroke a bit, uh, but you're going to want to add a kick. So this head position here is, uh, is much improved. It looks like you're doing a pretty good job with the breathing there as well. So underwater you get a view of your stroke technique. So what that looks like to me is what I call a elbow slip or a elbow leading the stroke. And what's going on here is that you're reaching forward well, but when you pull back, your, uh, your hand and forearm don't really anchor your body so much. Um, your, your hand and your, your pull comes back towards your body. Ideally, what you want to happen is that your hand and forearm go vertical relative to the bottom of the pool and more or less lock in place in the water and then you pull your body up to and past that point. That's one of the hardest technical parts of swimming. And you can see there your, your hip and leg position. So using a pull buoy when you work out is going to be a good thing for you so you don't have to worry too much about your legs at the moment. And uh, you know swimming regularly uh, two, three times a week definitely going to help. And here I have a, a few screenshots of um, stroke technique. So that was a good extension and then you start to pull. Arm is more or less straight here and then you can notice that the elbow leads the stroke. At this point you would want your hand and your forearm to be straight up and down relative to the bottom of the pool. So that's your goal with the uh, technique there. So good extension again beginning of a, a good catch here. So that's what I call the beginning of a straight arm pull which is stronger than the elbow slip. And then the elbow starts to lead back again where you want that hand and forearm vertical relative to the bottom of the pool. So some things to work on. Hope that helps.